Frequently asked questions. I believe that smell is you. needed in the student union. Sir Nigel Bickleworth. Cheers. Cheers. On Two Point Radio. Salutations and congratulations on your exquisite taste. You are tuning in for the peak of sophistication on our county's airwaves, Sir Nigel Bickleworth on Two Point Radio. But of course, you already knew that. are responsible for, well, for a lot actually. Time for Sir Nigel Reviews. And thanks to the enlightening intervention of our wonderful producers, you, the audience, have chosen the object of our desires this week. 
The public's collective wisdom has entrusted me with hog logs. I'm told a popular choice of breakfast cereal. Let's get this over with, shall we? Mm -hmm. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Interesting. It almost tastes like pork scratchings. Ooh! <laughs> End of year is approaching. It's too late to start trying. starting soon. Was there anything we wanted to do? Apologies for the abrupt end to our last segment. I've had a quick rinse and can commence with our review. The border of sweet and savory is, for some perverse reason, the fashion in fine dining circles, so I suppose it only makes sense that this would trickle down in some form to the food of the layperson. Congratulations to you, the common people, for joining in on this most foul of fads.
to the toilet. New to the Cromley student range. Fish in a box. We at Crumley have been serving fish to Two Point County for over 10 years. It's a proud tradition, and now it's a tradition in a box. Easy to cook. Wow. Tasty to eat. Wow. You're not sure what it is, but it's definitely in a box. Mmm, just like Mama used to make.
is needed to collect litter. Nigel Bickleworth, your friend over the frequencies. I tried to get this next song pulled from the station, but alas, what can one do? Well, I can play it with the disclaimer that you shouldn't enjoy it, and you won't enjoy it. Here you are, with some musical triumph, only on Two Point Radio. to spill the tea with Nigel B. Nigel B? Who wrote that? Who wrote it? Have them fired, all right? Today I'm hearing that your production system at a certain radio station is getting the sack. Scandalous, I know, but you didn't hear it from me.
bathroom. grounds are not a toilet. It may come as a shock, but in my formative years, I went through a gothic phase. I know, I know, it's hard to imagine, but to a young and impressionable Bickleworth, there was nothing more exciting than a flying buttress. And the Gargoyles. <gasps> so pensive, so lugubrious, so... Of course, I'd come to my senses and learn to love the provocative opulence and theatricism of the Baroque. We live and we learn. Students eating rubbish are reminded that you are what you eat.
Erasmus provides healthcare for its students. Well, it should. Call me Auntie Bickleworth because it's time for Agony Answers. Today's anguish comes from patronized in Pebbly. My elder sister talks down to me. It's like we're still kids. How can I get her to take me seriously? Oh, no. How dreadful. What a very serious and adult problem you have. My advice? Grow up. And of course, tune in again next time. Ta-ta! We're sorry for the litter that you... Oh, sorry, that's mine. is not responsible for meteors or any other celestial shrapnel. Thank you. Eating rubbish are reminded that you are what you eat. are reminded to figure it out. 
themselves. Janitor needed to unblock toilets. Lovely. Socially optional. Felicity Bellbottoms speaking for you, the students, in every sense, on Campus Radio. Up next, we'll be talking about power napping. Comfort. Dream or confusing nightmare. Find out after this. needed to unblock toilets. Lovely.
computer to install upgrade, please. Janitor needed to unlock toilets. Lovely. Students struggle to get enough sleep. That's why Campus Radio's very own Maggie Watmore has been trying out the latest techniques to fit some much needed rest into a busy schedule. That's right, I've been trying out power napping, the day's craze sweeping through campus like that fungus in the showers. For those of you that don't know, power napping, or turbo kipping, is a practice that allows you to sleep on the spot, grabbing some valuable rest time between classes. I think I almost did it for a moment, but then I realised I was 45 minutes late for a lecture. <laughs> but no, yeah, I actually feel really well rested. Assistant needed in library. Student support can be found in student support. Your finger is not a toothbrush.
asked questions. No, your chicken should not be pink. the story of an arts college with no paint in sight. Hugh. Yes, the students at Fitzpocket Academy were supposed to be taking a class in oil painting this year, but their funding allocation has shifted, and so too has the year beneath the feet of their expectations. I was lucky enough to speak to one student. Yeah, it's a bit of a shame, but it's all right. I'll just take the class next year. A brave face on an even braver student. This is just another story of student funding crushing the hopes and indeed dreams of some fine art students. All they wanted was some paint. But for now, the funding has dried up and with it, the oil paint well. some gubbiny grub in your gob with cheesy gubbins. The essence of cheese. Your, your, your cheese gubbins. Cheesy gubbins. You know you want to.
It's not your year, it's just another year. Point County Professor Hercules Cheesewater recently came under fire after publishing work they found on the bus. The professor has now responded to the allegations, saying, Inspiration can come from the strangest of places. So true, Professor. In fact, I find all my coursework on public transport proofread and ready to hand in. required in training room.
data needed to unblock toilets. Lovely. needed to unblock toilets. Lovely. This is Harrison Wolf, bringing you the Harrison Wolf Power Hour. I've been seeing a lot of stuff about colleges lately. Lots of study here, learn so and so, qualification this and qualification that. But let me tell you something I don't want you to know. It's a scam, all of it. You would have better grades if you weren't so stupid.
Congratulations. Research project complete. are reminded to try and keep up. We've all been quizzed at school, but what really happens during... You get a question, you write down your answer, and then some bozo tells you that you're wrong. But who's to say they're right? What's so great about their answers? If we've all got the same answers, then what's the point of there being so many of us, huh? I tell you, it's a crime that they make kids take their tests. Not a real criminal kind of crime, of course. But it's majorly uncool. And that's the kind of crime. Janitor needed to unlock toilets. Lovely. provides health care for its students. Well, it should. I shouldn't have to tell you, but if Jumbo McNally's getting involved in something, you know it's bad. Jumbo University? Ha! Huh, what a racket! You can teach Mr. McNally a lesson by signing my petition to have him fired into space. Pastoral issues. 
issues can be remedied by talking to a qualified librarian. responsible for meteors or any other celestial shrapnel. Thank you. Want to make stacks of easy cash, but reading about stocks is really boring. Invest in Bungle Coin. It's like other fictional cryptocurrency, but with 40% less saturated fat.
Students eating rubbish are reminded that you are what you eat. You ever thought about why they're so keen to teach us to read? Think about it. So we can read what they write. <laughs> well, it makes so much sense when you think about it. It's just another way for them to control us. That's why I only trust the Daily Disorder for my news. They take the regular news and turn every word into an anagram, breaking down the code. You can't understand a thing. It's perfect. You think I got into radio because of some fancy piece of paper? No, sir. Radio is pure jazz, man. It's alive and unpredictable. You can't just learn it. Sure, you could pay some big shot to tell you which buttons to press and when, and that's fine. But that's not radio. Not really. Here's another previously scheduled song that I didn't choose.
Janitor needed to install upgrade. Thank you. Students are reminded to be constantly upbeat. Here's a question from Kevin and Flottering. Hey Harrison, what was your favorite project in school? Well, it's a good question, and you gotta remember, just because education is a scam doesn't mean all those teachers are bad people. So, to answer your question, I used to like making the little volcano. It's pretty trippy to learn that volcanoes are full of vinegar, right? But how do we collect it safely? I don't know. But that's what they ought to be teaching us, man. You students should make a good first impression. No pressure. Rocks. 